Hello, my dear friend. Today, I'm going to explain you error 17 and 20. I don't know what it is. I don't know. So, in the past uh, couple of years, I've been working to fix the van move problem. And I succeeded fixing the batteries, finding the faults in the chargers, and somehow I did. Now, there's another problem. Error 17 that appears from nowhere once in a while you're going to experience error 17 in your bike that's not the problem the main problem is that this error will shut down your bms so you will make your bike unusable i did some battery modifications in the past so the battery will not pop the fuse by command and this is one of the problems but they shut down the bms how and why and I'm going to explain you what's wrong with this bike or the total. So when they designed this bike, they took in consideration nominal voltage, 37 volts. So in the design, they use DC converters that they will convert the 37 volt into 5 volts for Bluetooth, for any other volume and so on display and so on. the guys who work on these bikes or who own the bikes for many years they know they had problems with the e-shifter why they have problems with the e-shifter so they have problems with the e-shifter because inside there is a small dc buck converter who has the same thing 37 volts converts to the 4 volts 5 volts the motor and the controller works on so these are going a lot because of that issue the battery and the bike system is on the 37 volt nominal but once you put it on charge or you go with the bike down here it's not 37 volt it's 42 volt sometimes you get on a long downhill and you're gonna have 39 volt spike so it will destroy the dc dc converter from your e-shifter depends what it works on at the moment it will destroy your bluetooth your volume and so on. but that's not a problem okay i managed to lower a bit the charger voltage and somehow fixed a bit the issue but the issue is still there they designed this bug bike with 37 volts nominal and that's a problem so in order to fix all that problem is kind of impossible because these dc converters is about seven of them that convert voltage to every piece of equipment on your module so you will convert 37 volts to display you will convert 37 volts to volume and so on to each accessory to your bike so the chance that one of these converters will blow off and you will disconnect your Bluetooth, your volume, and your e-shifter, and so on, is very high. But to throw a 17, Aero 17, on your bike, I don't understand why. And probably it's because of all these errors. So I don't have a solution. Probably the only solution to fix this problem is to replace everything, and redesign the board, which is too costly just stay with the error you follow my other videos even if you are a repairer especially netherlands because many of you you're gonna have lots of problems regarding that yeah exactly that because error 17 will come on and if you don't have the modification as i showed you in the video will blow the fuse blows by command from the module Boom. So what I've done is I put a 8 ohm resistor on there. So instead of blowing the fuse, it will blow that resistor. And then you put another one, reset the battery and everything is fine. Or you just reset the battery because you will still work. Just reset. How to reset? Just I'm going to pop you a image here. How to reset Aero 17. So pair of tweezers. You stick them in there and you hold for a minute or so and we'll restart the BMS. What's happening with the Aero 17? They uh, shut down the battery. Yeah, shut down the battery. So the battery is off. BMS is off by command. So 
whatever you do, you can't wake it up. Just by shunting charge side with discharge side for a minute or so, the power will flow from discharge to charge. It will fake like the energizing. It's like it's fake charging, but it's not charging. It's just taking power from one side, putting it to the other, and it will wake up and you can use the bike again. If you have Aero 6 with Aero 17, but you haven't done the modification, you will blow your fuse. You put your fuse, you will work for a while, will pop again, and so on. This is a faulty design, and somehow with the new update, they ruin it forever. So you cannot, practically, they made your bike unusable once this error happens. So what I found is just do that. You will uh, reset your main battery and you can use it for a while. In my uh, repairs, I gone to this path. I did the, I uh, replaced the battery in the module and still that error came again and again and again. I don't have a solution. The Van Oof who own this system, they can put any updates on. So if you have the old update, keep it. If you have anti module, you're lucky. If you are after 2021, your bike will throw this error time to time. Main cause is the module battery where you can replace it. If you need a module battery, you find it in the description. Other than that, I don't have any solutions for you. It's too complicated to start redesigning faulty module by design. It's too much. And I will slowly stop repair these bikes because they're too faulty. And it's not the parts itself, how is the software? The software is very faulty. Either they want to get rid of the old bikes, throwing errors, making such a way that the bike will go to have errors time to time, but it's just my, my honest opinion. I don't uh, think that, I don't recommend nobody to buy a used S3 because of that problem. And who have them, they will face this error time to time. There is no a solution. Probably the solution is to take the module apart, trip every DC converter, probably I'm going to do that just for curiosity to see if it's a software bug. Yeah. Because DC converters are still fine. But probably they freeze. Yeah. They don't do the work. But after a reset, it will start working again. So, yeah, I don't see. I'm lost. So I wanted to inform you. That's the problem. Thank you very much.